Dora could change everything for families bracing for another round of ICE deportation raids this weekend. Tonight, the ACLU and demonstrators across the country are coming to their support. NBC4's Robert Kovacic, he's live for us tonight with what may happen Sunday. Robert. Chuck, NBC4 was invited tonight to where people are getting ready, anticipating what could come just a few days from now. The goal to not only know your rights, but organizers say to try and alleviate waves of fear. Looking for Maria, I know she's here, open up. It's ICE knocking. What do you do? Kind of like an earthquake, you gotta be prepared. Uh, I don't I have the, I have the right to keep my door closed and to remain here in my apartment. Here tonight at the Koreatown Immigrant Workers Alliance, educating Barbara so she can spread the word. You have to have your documents, you have to know people, you have to know where. If you have children, where are you gonna send your children in case immigration takes, takes you? The expected arrests of undocumented immigrants nationwide spurring protests like this one in the Bay Area. While back in Los Angeles, this DACA student and mother of two in hiding after she says ICE already came looking for her. I'm terrified. I'm scared. These are raids that are meant to be flashy and uh, make a splash, to be a circus, right? So that it makes people here afraid. ICE won't comment on enforcement operations. Some people like um, that I know, like my family, for example, may be at, at risk. This training session was also therapeutic. Just being around with others and everyone else is really, is really good and it's really comforting. Preparing for what may be arriving on Sunday. Plans are still being finalized, but those who are arrested could be flown to detention centers awaiting deportation. Meantime, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva says that he is condemning these mass deportations, calling for compassion and not family separation. Live tonight here in Mid-City, I'm Robert Kavasic. Chuck.